guys on YouTube. How are you guys today? I am doing uh, pretty good myself today. But today I'm going to talk to you guys today about antennas and amplifiers for your radio. See if it makes a difference on how the radio performs with this uh, amplifier antenna setup I have on my older style uh, 60s radio. It seems to work pretty good, but I'm not 100% sure if I'm going to get all of my stations. Now, I do have some antennas or not amplified or not being used on an amplifier at all, like my homemade antenna made uh, a antenna that's not amplified. But you can actually buy an antenna and it has the amplifier built into it. Or if you don't want the amplifier, you can just use a low order antenna, it's not amplified. But I think it's going to work uh, pretty good and see if it will work and see if I get more of my stations. But I'm not making any promises here guys, I don't think it's going to really work that good. But I do have a very good idea on what I want to actual purchase and buy and see if I can use a very good style antenna or a very cheap antenna if you guys recommend on different style antennas and that's fine you can use whatever antenna you guys want to use indoor or outdoor antennas will be absolutely perfect for this experiment. Alright, let's go ahead, turn you guys around, and show you what I'm doing. Here is my old receiver. You guys noticed this in the past before. This receiver has been with me for a while now. I have been using it very rapidly and every single day. It seems to tune absolutely perfect. And we have the setup detail. This is a uh, Philips style antenna. This is not a amplified antenna by the way. This actual plug into your back of your TV or your back of your radio if you have a Colex connector on the back. Here you guys can notice I have this very unique amplifier. You guys can see the amplifier runs into the stereo with this piece of Colex connector and this Colex adapter screwed on the back of my receiver. Now, this is a powered amplifier, but I do not have the uh, power for it. It's just running straight from this antenna and then through this, and it's amplifying the signal. Now, this is called a rabbit ear antenna, by the way. You guys can see I kind of had to adjust it a bit to actually get the back signal. By the way, my window is all the way over there. And I do have a brick wall back there, and it will actually work uh, just fine. But you guys can see, we are studying, have a steady FM stereo light. And we're just at like the 2 and 3 meter mark of this antenna itself. I do have a homemade antenna. It's over there. But I do not have it hooked up to my stereo because I uh, can't use two antennas. can only use one antenna with this type of testing I am doing. <clears throat> now it tunes very, very good and everything sounds very good on this old receiver. Now this, let's talk more about this. This is just an amplifier, okay? It's a mostly a cable amplifier, but you guys can notice I'm using an antenna. It's using an old antenna for it, and it seems to work just fine. Uh, you put it on the RF input. Do not put it on the power input because that's where you would normally plug the power into it for to power this amplifier. It's just passing through, going out to the output, and going into this Colex connector, and going into my receiver. Now, how does it seem to tune with own type of stations? I would use on this system. This system is analog, not digital. Again, just to let you guys know. Now, if I do have a digital one, I actually do, 
it's right over there, you guys can see. The digital version of this will actually work just fine with this uh, antenna, but you gotta know where you gotta place the antenna. Anywhere in the stereo's space, you gotta make sure you put the antenna up higher for the antenna to work properly. But well, let's go ahead and turn up the volume just a smidge on this and see if we get any good sound or if we get a bunch of stack. Let's go ahead and turn this up a little bit. Here you guys can see we have a little bit of sound and a little bit of stack at the same time. But that's typically okay. But let's go ahead and I'm going to spin this dial all the way down to the end of the 88 mark right here okay the 88 mark will not have anything in it now you guys notice I am now down to one because I changed the dial so I'm going to just gently turn that up let's turn on the station okay see so there's nothing on 88 you guys can see it's no stack or no sound though no? well we're getting something here but it's really faint you really can barely hear it. It's very stacky and very faint. But it does work. Very good. I may not get all my stations. But I can actually get certain stations on my radio. Now, you notice it was flickering a bit? The flickering means it's the station is somewhat strong or somewhat in the weak zone. Uh, where the antenna is actually placed on my speaker itself. But notice, if you put power to this, this might work 10 times better than what it is actually doing right now. But it really uh, seems to work very good. I really love the way these antennas are designed. By the way, this antenna here is not an amplified antenna. Okay? I just hooked it up to the amplifier to see if I can actually get a better signal strength on my radio. Let's go ahead and tune in another station. There we can get actually a good signal. You guys can see the signal bar right here went up to 3. And we got a very steady uh, signal. And it seems to work very, very good. And everything seems to work just fine a perfect clear sound not as very stacky or very uh, noisy at the same time i really love the way uh to do these types of experiments with older equipment now with the new equipment i don't know if you can use the uh, new equipment with the uh, antenna i have here right now now the biggest problem with this radio itself is the types of limited uh, connector space on the radio itself. This radio is an old school radio, guys. This only has screw on connectors, but I actually modified it and I put a little BCN connector on it so I can adapt different style antennas on the back of my receiver. And it tunes absolutely. Beautiful with using the uh, just a standard cheap antenna, not very high end vision antenna here, guys. This is just a like a seven dollar uh, antenna, but this typically will typically only work with your uh, TVs, but you can actually make it work with your radio. But if you look in the back, you guys notice I have all these different screw terminals that you guys can use. I can use one or the own uh, antenna port because I actually have an own antenna port all the way in the back. That's where the BCN connector is. But you cannot use both antennas. <laughs> you have to use one or the own. Now this amplifier seems to work absolutely nice. I'm really in impressed on how this little uh, device works. Now to get a very good signal, if you want to get a better signal here guys, I would recommend a outdoor antenna for outside for you can get a better signal now because I live in a brick house again the radio is going to have some issues 
picking up certain stations or mostly far away from the receiver itself. Now, this does not transmit any type of signal. It receives signal in it from radio waves in the sky and the air out, out in the Mother Nature area kind of thing. But it seems to work very well with the amplifier. I'm very impressed. And yes, the amplifier is a pretty old amplifier. I got it a long time ago. I had it a very long time. But it does seem to work very beautiful for this uh, system. Now, if I choose a different antenna, now, you have antennas can be amplified, and you have some antennas are not amplified. What's the difference? A non-amplified antenna will still work just fine, but if you want a good quality amplified antenna, that would work a lot better for your older uh, equipment. Now, do I have an antenna uh, outside? Uh, no, I do not, because I don't own an outdoor antenna. The only antennas I've been using for years with this old radio was typically all copper electrical wiring. A stranded copper, 14 gauge copper wire. That's what I use for the antenna. But the homemade antenna works the same way. Because it's stuck on my window over there, you guys can see. And it just swirls around my closet door and it goes in the back of my radio. And it works just absolutely beautiful. And <clears throat> by having a system like this, by having this very antique system with newer technology, would actually improve some of the radio functions. Now, biggest problem, you cannot use two antennas. Got to use one antenna. Like I am using this antenna, this is a very cheap, cheap uh, Colex antenna. You guys can see. It's connected to the amplifier. You guys can see it's connected to the RF input and connected on to the output and going from here to the input of my receiver. And it seems to tune absolutely beautiful. I really love the sound of it. This report brought Everything to seems to work absolutely beautiful fine. And there you go. That's how I use a amplified and non-amplified antenna. Okay guys, if you are brand new to this channel, please hit that subscribe button. Leave a comment down below. I would like your uh, feedback. If you want to know any more about the antennas and the amplifier and also my old uh, radio, please like, please share. Peace out. Bye guys. We'll hopefully see you in the next vlog.